You traveled Air India in its heydays, it would have been the wow moment that made you end up owning a limited edition ashtray designed by world famous artist Salvatore Dali. When Air India commissioned Dali to design a unique ashtray for some of the special guests of the airline, it was perhaps triggered not just by his global fame but also by his extraordinary and whimsical attitude towards his own art. Let's explore this unique story of Air India and its association with Salvador Dali. In 1967, some top officials of Air India met with Salvador Dali in New York and requested him to create something they could give as a memorable gift to airlines' most special and select customers. Dali agreed to the project and thus began the story of the unique ashtray that was indeed a masterpiece created by the great Salvador Dali himself. A white oyster-shaped bowl stood on its three legs. On one side of it was a swan, flanked on each side by an elephant head. The textures and shapes of the elephant morphed into those of the swan and vice versa when viewed from different angles. Thus, when upturned, the inverted swan transformed into an elephant and the elephant's head became a swan. When Air India asked Dali to name his fee, he made a simple demand, an elephant. To the utterly bewildered Air India officials, he said, I wish to keep him in my olive grove and watch the patterns of the shadow the moonlight makes through the twigs on his back. The airline executives thought he was joking. But Dali was dead serious. And why not? Those familiar with his work would know that elephant was a recurring theme in Dali's work. Finally, the deal was sealed. And as a unique form of payment, a two-year-old elephant named Saras was taken from Bangalore to Caracas, Spain. Upon seeing this gift, the mayor of Caracas declared a three-day holiday in honor of the Indian elephant. The entire town was immersed in celebrations. Later, when Saras grew too big, he was shifted to the Barcelona Zoo in 1971. Today, these art objects are largely untraceable, lying in private collections. However, a few pieces do appear on online auction sites now and then, giving a glimpse of the rare craftsmanship of Dali and the glorious history of Air India. Now that Air India has returned to the Tata Group, we all hope that it is well on its way to becoming the Taj of the Sky once again.